Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia Moore and I have been a little bit absent lately. I don't even remember the last time I posted a video. Uh, anyway, I'm back and I've kind of just been trying to figure out my life. I'm on a good track, so good things are coming. It's gonna be good, just stay tuned. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a look that I've really been loving lately and it is Kim Kardashian inspired and here is the photo right here. It's just very uh, sleek and it's kind of like that A-line look. She's got a very similar haircut to mine. Hers might be a little bit shorter, but I just love the sleek and straightness of it. And I've really been wanting to try it because I've been curling my hair so much lately, or I just like leave it natural like this. And I've just really been wanting to try something new and I'm kind of growing out my bangs. I think I'm over the bang stage, but like I still love my bangs, but I think it's like summer and I don't really want them on my forehead. So I'm gonna see how I can incorporate these little side bangs in with the look. And I think it's gonna be really, really cool. So I'm on probably my fourth day hair, but I think I'm just gonna like make it work anyway. It's like kind of dirty. So we're gonna have to shine it up a lot, but I'm really just gonna go ahead and split my hair into two parts. And I do have layers. Kim Kardashian does not have layers right now. I do have layers. So I've gotta do, find a way to like curl them kind of underneath so they're hidden and you can't see them. I'm gonna have my hair like that. And the special tool I'm gonna use today is gonna be the U Smooth one and a half inch flat iron. It is titanium on the plates, which means it has a very fast heat up and cool down time. So it's very, very convenient for last minute hairdos. This is super easy to just run your hair over. And I love the one and a half inch plates because it just allows me to get the job done way, way faster and more efficiently without having to keep going over my hair. And I don't have to be too like precise because I'm just straightening it like normal, but this is really cool because it has the power button right here, but then you can also, it has a plus and a minus and you can adjust the heat temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on 350 and it tells you exactly what the number's at and it goes up by 10 degrees each time you press it. So that's really, really cool and I really like that about it. So I'm really not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna be straightening my hair. Oh my gosh, and it has a swivel cord. No more tangles. It's awesome. Pretty much, I'm just gonna be running this over my hair. Just like that. And my hair has some split ends. It has a lot of split ends from the bleach. It's just been really harsh on my hair. I'm gonna go over each strand probably twice, really focusing, making sure my ends get flat because they have been very, very frayed lately. Just, it's not a very good look. And I need to get it trimmed again. But I want long hair, so it's a struggle. But I'm just gonna keep doing this. And you wanna go slow. You don't wanna go fast and have to run over your hair probably six times. That's not good for your hair. It just breaks it. So you just wanna really go slow and do the job really, really good the first couple of times. You should really avoid going over here more than twice. Just like that. So I'm really getting that really, really straight look going on. And this flat iron really allows me to get really, really big pieces. It has really big plates. So it really decreases my flat ironing time. And if you have curly hair, this iron is perfect. The titanium is especially good for people with coarse, curly hair. So you can see the difference is already so, so much better. I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over again until I get done. And then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do next. I know where we can go. 
Now the key to this look being successful is making sure that there's not any flyaways and since my hair is kind of dead and I have layers, there's a lot of flyaways. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the U Smooth Flex Hairspray. I'm going to spray a decent amount into my hand, just enough so you can see the shine. And I'm going to slowly wipe down on my hair. Really, really generously. Did you see how that completely transformed it? It kind of just sleeked it down on the top. And you can always take a brush or anything and just smooth it down. And make sure there's no bumps or anything on the top. I know where we can go. And it's all you. You just really want to make sure you're getting rid of all of the calyx in the hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my hand and run it through to help my hair stay straight on the bottom. and help it kind of all stay symmetrical together. Since I do have layers, it is a little bit harder. My hair is not very crunchy at all or anything, but it's just so smooth. And the flat iron really makes my hair very, very smooth. It was very crisp before with all the split ends and everything. And one trick is, if you flat iron your hair and you notice that the ends are not going straight, that means you need a trim. I need a trim. This is the first time I've flat ironed my hair in a while and there's some pieces that are definitely bent still. They will not go straight. That means you need to cut them off. Just do it because it's going to make your hair look better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you want more details on any of the products that I used or the flat iron, you can click my blog post down below. I always put more detail into those blog posts for my hair styling tutorials. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you on my next video. Bye.